Hello, so today we will be learning how we can dual boot Kali Linux into the system. So what is dual boot? Dual boot is a process where you can install multiple operating systems in a single machine. Okay, so now you know what a dual boot is. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of dual booting. The first main advantage of dual booting is that you can access all of the PC resources. This is the biggest advantage of dual booting. Whichever operating system you are using or booting into, it will have access to all of the active resources and no other OS will be running. Now, this is the main advantage, but it has some disadvantages or cons. Some cons are that you need to restart every time you want to access the other OS. And the setup process varies between which operating system you are using. So now all of that out of the way, if you are willing to continue, let's start the video. First boot in the windows. Once you are in windows, just go on this PC and right click. You will see something called manage. If you see this, this is the option which you need. Or you can just go to search and look for manage. If you look for manage, you will see something called computer management. Click on it and you will see a page like this. Look for disk management there. You should see it under storage. Once you click it, you see a page like this. And it shows all the disks that you have and all the drives that you have. So look for a box with a green square around it. This is your logical drive. And you will be installing it in this drive. Now shrink the volume and cut some pieces out of it. So this is the storage that your Kali Linux machine will have. Since we are dual booting, we need to give a dedicated space for Kali Linux to live in. So we are going to be using 60 gigs. So here I am opening a calculator and multiplying 60 by 1024. Because I am calculating how much storage will I need to shrink if I want 60 gigs. So once I type it in, I will just hit shrink and you will see there is a free space pop up. Now this free space is the space where we will be installing Kali Linux. Because this is an open space which is free. Now open up file where you have Kali Linux and Rufus. Open Rufus and open the exe. Now, once you see a window like this, you need to select your pen drive, select the ISO, which is right here, and open it. Once you do, it should scan and automatically detect everything you need. But just to be sure, you can double check everything if you are not sure check everything to make sure that it's fine and you want to install it like this it should not be a problem because it should automatically detect you can check for the partition scheme which i showed in the previous video now once you are here select the dd image mode what this does is makes the pin drive like a DVD. So now it will delete all data and start partitioning our system in our pen drive so we can install it in our system. Once this is done, get ready to restart your system. So now first let's check if our pen drive is ready. Open this PC and you should see something like this. And if you see this, that means your pen drive is ready to be used. So now let's get to the dual booting part. So once you restart, 
as you can see here you need to first go into your boot menu now if you don't know what a boot menu is you can just google it and find boot key for your system so once you are in the boot menu select your pen drive now you should see something like this select graphical install this will get you a graphical interface which you can use to install now in here select your language and your keyboard layout it should be set as default but you can check what's yours so now what you can do is unplug your network system because if you have it should take a little bit longer. if you do not have that you can just unplug it and wait for it to now remember it's all up to you if you want to with network then that's a longer process but that and good partitioning this is a very vital in this installation so make sure you're following along now you check the name for your system in the host name usually you can just type your name and should work and now then let's give a password remember to give a password that you can remember because if you forget this you cannot get into Linux once you've done that now here comes the hard part once you see this this means you need to select the drive and partition it now you can use guided install but we won't do that we'll do it manually Continue. now look for that free space as you can see here is our free space now click on it and continue first we need the root directory and here you can see create a new partition continue and select how many gigs you will use I'll use like Let's see. 20. 20 is good. For root, you don't need that much. I'll use 20. Then continue. And now this is the file type. Make sure to keep it as extend 4. As you can see here. Because this is the file type that Linux uses. Then done setting up partition and continue. Once you do this, go to the rest of the space and create a new partition and leave out like 8 gigs or then continue remember this is also an extra version this is your home partition or the partition where you will be using your Linux system now done partition and now here you can see we have some extra space what, what, what do we want to do with this extra base? We want to create a swap. Or this part will use the hard disk or SSD space to use as virtual memory. Now, once you do that, done partition and continue. There. Finish partitioning and write to this. Once you click this, this will create all the partition required for your system. You can check what you are installing and make sure everything is correct. Then just hit yes and continue. Here it will install Kali Linux in your system.
here comes the most important part installing the grub loader now grub loader is the boot loader that linux uses to boot install this grub loader where you install your linux system if you do that when you boot you will get the choice to boot into windows or linux which we call dual boot now if this grab loader detects everything then you are ok but if it doesn't then make sure that your windows is properly installed ok so there we go now just remove the installation media and restart your pc remember that removing the installation media or the pen drive is very important because if you keep it in when you want to boot into linux it will just start the install over again so remove it and then just restart wait for a bit and let your pc restart once it does you should see the grab loader now here this is the grab loader in Kali linux it looks very nice and now when we select Kali linux we can wait and see Kali linux is installed in our system so that's it that's how you can dual boot Kali Linux in your system.